This is the spinal cord model. The first separation that we should make here is between the gray matter and the white matter outside of that. The gray matter is divided into an anterior horn, posterior horn, lateral horn, and these are present on both the left and right sides. In the middle of that, there's a small space called the central canal, and the gray commissure connects the left and right areas of the gray matter. Around the gray matter, we have the white matter, and these areas are called funiculi. This is the posterior funiculus, here's a lateral funiculus, and here's the anterior funiculus. This opening that we see here, according to our lab packet, is the anterior median fissure. If you find another name in another textbook or another source, it's not the end of the world. Down here we have the posterior median sulcus. Now, the next thing to pay attention to is we have all these little rootlets coming off from the posterior horn, from the anterior horn, and they come together creating this nerve, or what we'll call a root. This is the dorsal side, so this is called the dorsal root. The enlargement right here on the dorsal root is the dorsal root ganglion. This is coming from the anterior side or ventral side. This is therefore called the ventral root, where all these rootlets come together and work together. Where they combined, off on the side, this is a spinal nerve. Keep in mind this is what you have 31 pairs of. Now, something you may not be tested on, but is rather cool, is what all these different colors stand for. And I'm going to turn the model around so that we can actually read what's happening with the colors here. The yellow and green are afferent fibers. The black and red are efferent. So afferent is dealing with somatic stuff. Efferent is dealing with motor material. Then you have somatic versus visceral. Somatic includes the skeletal muscles, that's the voluntary stuff. The visceral stuff, you can think about the abdominal region where you've got smooth muscle. The thoracic region where you have cardiac muscle. And we have lots of glands through these areas. So the black is somatic and the red is visceral. That is the spinal cord model.